Welcome back to Ecom Ranks. If you are looking to fix the Google Merchant uh, products issue, then you are at right video. In this video, I will guide you how are you able to fix missing value gender, missing value age group, and missing value color. So basically, there are two to three method methods to fix uh, those issues. Okay, to do so, one thing we have to do is you have to open your Google Merchant account and then under products, there would be an option for diagnostics. By clicking on diagnostic, they, then you have to uh, click on this view examples. After clicking on it, all of these products will get shown that have gender issues, color issues and age group issues. So what you have to do is you have to uh, copy their uh, titles and then you have to click on this all products option and from here you are able to edit this product and then uh, by scrolling down there would be an option to select its color uh, select its gender whether it's female male or unisex or what would be the age group uh, will your products will go to the adult uh, kids or newborn okay so this is a method uh, we can do it uh, with uh, within google merchant uh, account dashboard but if you have a shopify account and you would uh, like to do it from your shopify store dashboard then uh, follow uh, this uh, you first of all you have to click on this home home button and now the dashboard will get opened for your shopify store now you have to click offer the products and then you have to open this product okay by clicking on it it will open this product and then there would be an option for more actions by clicking on more actions there would be an option of google fields okay so the google field option will get opened you you have to tick this option that this is a custom product if, if you don't have mpn or gtin number uh, then your product will be a, uh, go under the category of custom products. You have to take this option and then scroll down here would be an option to change the age, gender and add the color and all the fields that are required uh, for your Google Merchant uh, uh, for your Google Merchant Center products. Okay, so the another method that I would love to use that method and that's quite easy and uh, uh, it's uh, it will do all the products in one go and this is the right method okay so i would suggest to follow this method my products are still approved but uh, uh, there would be a warnings so i would like to fix those warnings so click on this uh, approved products and if your products are not approved uh, just simply click on the uh, not approved products and here it shows the uh, all of those product, uh, all of those products that have missing value age group, missing value color, and missing value gender. So what I have to do is I have to select all these twenty five products, and then I have to click on this edit products. Once I click on this edit product, a large columns will get shown. So from here, uh, there it gives an option of uh, which columns to show so let me untick all these options for ease uh, okay let me keep the age group gender i already added all these fields so let me untick all this option and uh, where is the color option so here is the color option and let me untick all other options if you want to fix uh, any of the other field you can simply tick it uh, tick that option and the column will get added so let me untick this after clicking on it what you have to do is uh, i see that the fee adult is added to this group and what you have to do is you have to select this column and then uh, you have to press shift and arrow button to select all the column okay so all the column is selected what you have to do is you have to select this option like these products are for kids and then hit the save button similarly do this for the gender and from here you are able to add the colors of your product so this is the video on how are you able to fix uh, gender color and uh, 
age group option within google merchant center and within your shopify store if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon